Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory Thanksgiving Day Special with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. Declare praise and thanksgiving to God today. Replace idle words with power-packed words of faith. God inhabits the praises of His people. Hello, everybody. We're Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast, and happy Thanksgiving Day. Praise God. This is not a day to get together and fuss about politics. <laughs> Amen to that. No, 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 no. No, it's a day of giving thanks. Now, hmm. real thanksgiving is praise. And praise and giving thanks is the big gun of faith. I, hey, um, Paul and Silas in that dungeon. They'd been beat nearly to death. They prayed, but they praised God. Yes, they did. Oh, glory. Right in the middle of that place, they began to give thanks. It wasn't silent. And prayer, praise either. God. And it was so loud. They sang so loud. The prisoners heard them. That's right. Now, you can't do that without faith. It takes a faith in God and a faith in His love that, that's so strong that you're just not moved by what you feel or that's what right. you see. You're moved only by what you believe. And I believe this book. Yes, Hallelujah. amen. And thanksgiving. Oh, it is so powerful. Praise God. The eighth and the ninth Psalm, it'll still the enemy. Now think about this, Gloria. God inhabits the praise of his people. Mm -hmm. When we pray, we come into his presence. When we praise and worship, yes. he comes into us. Praise. Isn't that good? Praise. Oh, God. thank you, Jesus. We worship you and praise you. We give thank thanks you. today, especially in this nation. Our nation is being turned around and, and to, the, to, to the casual look, look the, to the, and the, 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 those that are not aware of spiritual things and not aware of what's going on around them. It looks like the nation is, is just going down the drain. No! A million times. No, it's not going down That's the drain. Right. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We praise you for it, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Gloria, let's look here. In the... <clears throat> well, let's, let's first read our, our, our golden text in Mark eleven twenty two. 22. Jesus answering said to them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, What things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. When you stand praying, forgive, glory to God, if you have aught against any, that your Father, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Well, what you do unto others is what they do unto you. That's spiritual law. Yeah. Now, let's look here in the book of Ephesians. I want to show you something. Now, he said, uh, you have what you say. Now, verse 29 of the fourth chapter of the book of Ephesians, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Now, look at the fifth chapter and the fourth verse. Uh, well, let, let's, let's, let's back up and start with the first word. Be ye therefore followers or imitators of God as dear children. Walk in love as Christ also hath loved us and hath given himself for us an offering 
and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savor. But fornication and all uncleanliness and covetousness, let it not be once named among you as become a saint. Neither filthiness nor foolish talking. Foolish talk. What's that? Idle words. Mm -hmm. Nor foolish talking nor jesting. You know what jesting would be? A dirty joke. Yeah. Um, you know, humor is good. And something that's clean, and, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, you know, it, it brings joy and a smile to your face. But it, he's talking about uh, nasty jokes, which are not convenient, but rather, rather the giving of thanks. Yeah. If you're having trouble with your words, just start praising God. Mm -hmm. Lord, put a watch over my mouth. I don't sin against you with my words. Amen. Amen. Re remember this. Oh, I need the protection of the, of the 91st Psalm. Oh, God, I needed it. How do you invoke the 91st Psalm? He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High is about on the side of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord. Lord, He is my fortress. He is my fortress. He is my God. Yes. In Him do I trust. And then He will deliver me. <laughs> That's what it says. That's what it says. Right here. Fill your mouth with thanksgiving. Praise God. Amen. I, I remember, glory when that, that oh, boy, that disc blew up in my back. Ah, man, I'll tell you, I fell on the floor. I was taking a shower. It was Sunday after, uh, Sunday morning after Saturday night, we closed Southwest Believers Convention. And man, that thing blew up in my back, knocked me to the floor, and I couldn't get up. I'm never experience pain like that. Anyway, <laughs> later I got out there in my, about on the back porch show and I'm praising God. I got out there. Oh, that thing hurt. Oh, it hurt. Well, my left leg was hurting me. Oh, oh, dear Lord. And brother, brother Keith said, praise God, my right leg don't hurt. Praise God. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and this is, hey, this is, this is big. Praise something. Oh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. See, see, pain is in the thought life. We can prove that because it puts you to sleep. You don't feel it. It, it, it. It's in the brain. It's in the same area where you think. And so I'm out there on that back porch. Oh, this thing is hurting. And I, I, so I got two heating pads and wrapped them around my left leg and turned them up as high as I could get them. Took the sash out of my, out of my, a couple Rose. of my robes and tied them on there. Had my leg jacked up here like that. Turned them up just to just make it hurt more than that other hurt. You know, trying to do something. And I started praising God. Oh, praise God. I want to thank you for that green grass. I want to thank you for the blue sky. I want to thank Amen. you for this wonderful home you've given glory to me. I want to thank you. Just shouting just as loud as I could. Just at the top of my voice. And, I, and it had and it eased down. I said, oh, glory. And it had kicked right back in. But the louder I got, the, the stronger it came against that. Just praising, just shouting at the top of my voice. And as long as I would do that, it had come down. So now I experienced a little bit there of what Paul and Silas experienced. Now, of course, what I had wasn't going to hold a light to what had happened to them. But it's the same principle. Mm -hmm. and it, but you have to do it by faith. You have to do it by faith. You have to have faith in, I don't know why you let this happen to me. Oh, shut up. That's idle words from hell. That's just blasphemous to accuse God of letting something happen to you That's or true. to accuse him of putting it on you. Don't ever do that. That's an oppression of the devil. Glory to God. Now, put thanksgiving in your mouth. Hallelujah. Praise. Let's go over. Now, we're going we're to get into something here in believing that we receive. In the fourth chapter of the book of Philippians. Now, verse 4 Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say, 
rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. The moderation there, the Greek word is unselfishness. Be careful for nothing. Now that's, uh, uh, that word careful there means care-filled. The classic Amplified translates it as anxious, anxiety, Mm -hmm. worry. Worry is a sin, Gloria. Yes, it is. It's a sin. Because Jesus said, why take you thought for tomorrow? Why are you laying there worried about it? There ain't nothing you can do about it. You can't worry in faith. No, you can't do it. Impossible. No, because all worry is fear-based. It's death-based. So, be anxious for nothing. Don't be anxious or fearful or worry about anything. anything. But in everything. Say it with me. But in in everything. By prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Now listen, John 16, 23 and 24, Jesus said, whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. Ask and receive that your joy may be made full. Now, I go before him, Mark 11, 23 and 24. Yeah. What, what, say it and believe it in your heart. What are what the things you, that you desire? Believe and receive them, you shall have them. It also lets you know that he wants your joy full. Yes, absolutely. And here he said rejoice. Yeah. So, what, what, here, you, you take the word. I mean, I do it all the time. I'm, I'm just... Just a couple of nights ago, I got up out of bed and, and went in uh, something on my, my vision board there. And I got up and went in there and read six, John 16 and read it but before the Lord and before my own eyes. And that, that picture I had on my, my vision board there uh, that for the continuing miracle that I need in, in my low back. I'm not just healing. I'm healed. I don't have any sickness, disease, and I hadn't had for years. And, uh, but... That, that got damaged in there. There's bones that are damaged in there and so forth. And, and my miracle is happening. Your miracle. It, it is happening. See? Yes, it is. So, and anyway, and I just read those verses right there. Well, he said, whatsoever I ask the Father in his name, he'd give it me. Therefore, whatsoever thing I desire when I pray, believe I receive them and I shall have them. Right. Well, on what grounds? I've asked. And he said it would. And he said he would. Uh, His word's all I need. That's right. But now I don't need to go back in there and say, you know, I didn't get it. I'm asking again. No, 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 no. After that, what do you do? Let's go back over there again. Let's go back to it again. Philippians 4. Be anxious or worry about anything, but in everything, in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. thanksgiving. You thank him for it. Oh, God, I thank you. I have a new spine from my brain stem to my tailbone. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And what little dab of discomfort and so forth is in there now. I I could care less. My Uncle Pete, oh, I tell you what, Pete Owens, I mean that man, he didn't know what pain was. Pete, all I ever saw. (laughs) And I, you know, Uncle Pete, he's, I had worse than that on my upper lip. (laughs) I don't care if he- He didn't get any sympathy. No, if he was hurting so bad, he had tears coming out of his mouth. He just smiled. What a man. Anyway, Hmm. with thanksgiving, the Amplified, the classic Amplified says, continue to make your wants known by giving thanks. You have prayed. You have received it in Jesus' name by faith. Praise God. Hallelujah. That is mine. I own it. That didn't say continue to ask, really. No. When you think about it, it no. said continue to 
make everyone know. I I take that continue to praise that you got it. Yeah, right, that's what they see. That's exactly what he's saying here. Yeah. Uh, be anxious about it. Don't be worried about anything, but in everything by prayer. Now you need to start with prayer. Giving. You need to start with yeah. John sixteen yeah. twenty three and the other prayer scriptures and so mm-hmm. forth, and stand on them. That's hey, sweetheart. Let me tell you something. The Word of God is the answer to the prayer. That's right. The promises of God and the facts of God. By His stripes you were healed is not a promise. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. You can stand on that forever. Glory to God. It belongs to you in the name of Jesus. Now, 1 John, turn there really quick. This is such a powerful 1 John chapter 1. If we walk in the verse 7 in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins and we feel better about it and don't feel so sorry and so guilty, uh, no, 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 it doesn't have anything to do with your feelings. Mm-hmm. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. When? Right then. Yeah. I've done it when I felt I felt so bad I just missed it and just tears in my eyes. And I told him one night, I said, I'm not going over there and preach tonight. I can't. I can't do it. I, mean, I got mad that afternoon. It, I won't go into what. But surely not at me. No, 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 dear heart, no. <laughs> but and, and I said, I'm not going over there. He said, Why? I said, You know why? He said, well, No, I don't know why. I just as plain. I said, I'm not going over there and stick up my big bony number one finger and say, so, Thus saith the Lord, after getting mad and doing, saying what I did. He said, Didn't you confess that? Yeah. He said, then I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Boy, it struck me, glory. And I've remembered that until this very day. It has nothing to do with the way I feel. It has to do with what he promised. I can stand up there, particularly on the sin of unforgiveness, and that's the big one. Hmm. That's the one he mentioned. Forgive if you have all the answers. That's right. It says, though, Sir, I confess the sin of, don't call it your problem, call it by its nasty name. I confess the sin of unforgiveness in the name of Jesus and, oh, please forgive me. And I receive my forgiveness, sir. Thank you very much. And now, sir, I receive my cleansing from all unrighteousness. Thank you very much, sir. I'm forgiven and I'm cleansed. Thank you very much, sir. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I obey orders. Now, the feelings may still be just roaring at you. That's flesh. That doesn't have anything to do with, but by faith, I had to do it by faith. I know he heard me Mm -hmm. because it's his will. It's his word. I know he heard me. And when we know he hears us, we have the petition that we desired of him. Now, what do you do? You just back off and say, praise you, Jesus. Praise you, you, Jesus. All unrighteousness has been cleansed out of me. Now, thank God, I'm, oh, I stand before you righteous in your eyes because I'm righteous in, in, I've been made the righteousness of God in Christ. I'm not righteous in myself, but in him I am. He didn't, Gloria, he didn't create any unrighteous new creatures. He didn't create any uh, unworthy new creatures because we were created in the image of Jesus. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, it is. Now, you can shout and give thanks over that. Big gun of faith is thanksgiving. I mean, it'll it'll overcome you. Fear, it'll, it'll, it'll... you can start screaming, you're praising God and dancing before the Lord. It's called a sacrifice of praise, you know. 
You need to praise till you get out beyond your comfort zone. <laughs> when you get to pray, ooh, do I want to do that? That's when you need to just throw a wall-eyed fit. <laughs> just like David, just praise and thanks until, praise until your wife says, that's the most vulgar thing I've ever seen. That's what you she do. said, wasn't it? That's what she said. And you remember what he said? Woman, I'm going to get more vulgar still. <laughs> He's yeah. out there in you the street. You ain't seen nothing yet. No, he wasn't <laughs> acting like a king. He just slung off all of his royal robes and got out there in the street and, just, and he just like with the common people. He's just out there shouting and praising and dancing in glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> praise. Hallelujah. Praise. <laughs> you praise long enough, the spirit of worship comes. And when that spirit of worship comes, just stay there. The glory will Praise. And in that glory is healing and mercy. Mm. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Isn't that wonderful? Praise. Oh, Father, we just worship you and praise you. How much time have I got? Thank this? you, Father. In this last minute here, the Apostle Paul said in verse, tw no, 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 excuse me, Lord. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind. See, and you do that, you start praising, you start giving thanks, the peace of God comes and, it, and it'll gar garrison up around your, your, your mind. It'll keep your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus. Listen to this, listen to this. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things of good report, if there be any virtue, for there be any praise, think on these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, you know, I'm a, oh God, you know, I've got so much pain. It's not going to work this time. No, no, don't be thinking that. You've already taken John 16, 23 before the Father and it's yours. You've received it. Don't you allow that to come into your mind. I don't care if you dream something about dying during the night. You get up from there, glory. Don't you tolerate that in your mind. You say this right now. My mind is my mind. My mind is my mind. I think what I tell it to think. I think what it thinks what I tell it to think. I think what's true. I think what's true. Honest. Honest. Just. Just. Pure. Pure. Lovely. Lovely. Good report. Good report. Hallelujah. Victory report. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Well, it's true that that old girl, no, no, that's not a good report. Fix it. We're out of time. <laughs> Glory and I'll be back in just a moment. We hope you enjoyed today's teaching from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. And remember, Jesus is Lord.